This is our greenhouse at Highland Hill Farm over winter time. And this is our one gallon green giant liners that we have that we're going to plant out in the field or you can buy from us. We have many, many more than this. This is just one section. And we started to plant some of them from a field last year, but we just didn't use them all. But we, we do have hundreds of them. And tell us a little bit, Mike, if you would, about the green giant and how it grows. Well, green giant is a very fast growing tree. It's easy, fairly easy to do. There is some things that can go wrong with them, but for the most part, they're pretty good. A lot of people are concerned that over the winter time they see this little bronzing occur to it. That's nothing to fear that happens to our providers of all types. Um, when you plant a tree that's this small into the ground, it's very susceptible to a whole host of problems. So when you first put them in, you got to take good care of them. You have to make sure there's no weeds in the root zone for competition. You got to make sure that you water them because they're in a greenhouse now. They get water just about every other day. So it's fairly, they, they're fairly babied. When they're in the ground, you also need to fertilize them. And you also need to start to trim them a little bit. If you, I don't know if we have any here that we can see that has two liters to it, but you really do want to have one liter to these tree, and if a second one emerges, you should prune them out. But for the most part, they're fairly easy to do, easy, easy as compared to most other trees that we are growing. And how about the deer resistance of this plant? All right, well, deer resistance is fairly good. Uh, they're not deer proof, but they're deer resistant. It has a bad taste to it, so when the deer eat it, they don't want to eat it. But if you get hungry enough, or the deer get hungry enough, they will go eat it. We have some property that's right next to the park, Peace Valley Park, and we plant trees right in there, and the deer come out 20 or 30 at night. And they come over, and they'll nibble on these guys to see what they taste like, whether they want to eat it or not. But for the most part, they usually just move on and not take lots of, they don't make it their dinner. But they'll, they'll nibble on it to, to taste it, get a little bit of browse, and they usually move on. Another issue is that the deer would rub these with their antlers, as if it's a male deer, of course. They rub things when... They're at that time of year, and they are susceptible to being rubbed. It's usually not as bad of a thing as deer browse, but deer rubbing can kill some of the trees. Uh, another thing you should be concerned with is that Green Giant is best in full sun, but it can take the shade in environments. It just doesn't look as good in a shade as it does when it's in the full sun. They also, in the shade, don't grow as fast, and they're usually not as thick and as full. They can tolerate some water. The more water that there is, usually the slower that they grow, and they do start to yellow out a little bit if it's in a lot of water. Fertilizer can help that, but site location would be a better fix to it, or changing the site location is a better option than trying to fertilize the tree if it's put in the wrong spot. Um, another thing that could happen is that when you first plant them in the ground, they can sometimes lean over a little bit, and if they lean over, you will have to come back and straighten them. That's another issue. I saw that one had a little bit of a lean to it. That's a good example. Uh, when you plant them, it, it, that will can hurt sometimes. But again, all those things, it's not really that major. And even if you do it wrong, they usually do survive. So if it's one of those ones, you want to try to plant some of your own that are smaller. Green Giant Arborvitae is a real easy one to start with. And Mike, what size Green Giant do the deer pretty much leave alone for rubbing? Well, it depends on how the growth habit of the tree is. Usually the bigger the tree, the less they like to mess with it. Um, from what I was told, that when a, a buck does not want to have things poking it in its face when it's rubbing. So if there's a lot of branching to the tree, they usually tend to stay away from it. That's not always true, but from what I saw and what I was told, that's how they like to be. So if you have like a one stem to the tree, like a maple, they love that because they rub it as hard as they want. No fear of anything poking them in the eyes or in the nose. But if you have a multiple stem tree with branching at the base, they tend not to want to rub that because they get their antlers in there and then the sticks start poking them in the eye and in the nose and all over. They just really don't like that as much. 
So you can have a real tall green giant with no branching and they may rub it, but you may also may have a real small fat squat green giant and they may not even touch that ever. So it really does have to do with the structure of the tree and how many branches it has versus how big the plant is. Okay, well thank you very much, Mike. And if people need green giants, how can they get a hold of you? My cell phone number, if you need green giants, is 267-446-2376. This video was produced at Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. And these are our green giant arborvitas. Call us for your screening tree needs at 215 651 8329